that is Marissa. Marissa and I are at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. My home park, finally. Been doing these vlogs for two years, and this is the first time I'm actually shooting one in my home park. It's very exciting. Marissa is also a photographer, as you can tell by her camera, most likely. We're just out here taking a sunset stroll, looking for critters, and I'm modeling for Marissa. <laughs> We're just gonna kind of cruise around see what we can find out here in the park and once it gets dark I'm going to light paint. I'm gonna try to convince her to stay here with me and model She might do it <laughs> anyway That's it though. We're just gonna cruise around here and uh, See what we can find and then I will be light painting this evening. No, it's a pig. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a pig. Marissa, the nature photographer, is freaking out because there's some boar up here, or at least one pig. I walk with bears, okay, but in an environment where there's a bear guide. <laughs> Are long, you a boar guide? I'm a boar guide, so. I don't know their behavior. She'll go to she'll go to Alaska and walk with bears all the time, but you know. When there's one little piggy up here, she's freaking no, out. No, you thought it was a bear. That's how big that boar is. I'm trying to be quiet so we can sneak we up on it. We need to let them know we're here. <laughs> establish. We need to establish dominance. We have a bit of a walk back to the car. Getting dark. We don't have any flashlights, but we should have the full moon. Anyway, we weren't able to, to uh, get any photos of the boar because this one was being too damn loud and she scared it away. We will see if we run into anything else on the way back. Almost time to get set up and start light painting. Couple things I'm gonna work on. I've got a new light that I'm gonna try out from Frank at Photo Excursion. Put a link down here where you can check it out. It's a color changing flashlight, custom made. It's got an on off button on it and all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm excited to play around with that. Just gonna do some basic stuff, make some orbs, things like that, but with the color changing effect and a couple other little things I want to work on, but for now we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this walk and hopefully find some more pigs. That knucklehead doesn't scare away. No pigs. Where I am. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she's getting eaten by bugs, so she's leaving. I'm gonna stay and get eaten by bugs. She's also going to eat, which does sound really good. Yum. But I'm gonna actually just stay out here and shoot instead. But anyway, say bye Marissa. Bye everybody. Bye. Sure, I look fabulous. Yep. Make sure you check out her Instagram. It's Marissa good. Marulli. <laughs> this is the light that I'm going to be using tonight. It's uh, made by Frank. Got the little on off here. Um, on off. It's pretty bright. I'm not sure exactly what the lumens are, but it's pretty bright. And again, it's got this little remote so that I can literally just do change the color to whatever I want. And then also, it has these different modes on it so it'll actually flash through the colors. It feels pretty good in your hand, um, fits right into the universal connector so you can use all the different light painting brushes attachments. So I'm going to try that out just doing some basic stuff here like orbs and just some random shapes and maybe some spirals and things like that. Just The moon is bright and full, the wind's blowing, it just feels great. It's a beautiful night out here so uh, hopefully we'll create some cool stuff. That shape came out really cool, but as I was walking to camera, I flicked the light on to talk to you guys and forgot I was uh, still shooting. So I got a little weird thing of light in there. Um, still pretty cool though. Uh, right now I'm gonna use the circle plexiglass and what I'm doing is putting that up against the lens like that on the big camera and pulling it away, kind of creating that zoom effect. And then I'm switching to the rectangle plexiglass to make the uh, orb. And what I'm doing for that is I'm turning my back to the camera, so I'm starting with my back away from the camera, for the light away from the camera, so you can't really see the trail. And then I'm turning like so, going all the way around, full 360, starting down low, all the way around, 
and just coming up high and high and then ending at the top for each one but combining those two things so i'm combining the circle pulling away from the lens to kind of give this like weird uh I don't know, kind of weird effect to it. Then using this one for the orb. It's got like a really sci-fi feel to me. Really like the way it's coming out with the color transition from this light. It's really cool. That on off button is great. All right, so what I'm gonna try now is a different mode on the light. This one is going to be the strobe mode. So instead of doing an orb this way, I'm gonna go up and down like this. Just going up and down, and I think because it's strobing between these colors, it's gonna have a really cool effect. So we'll see what happens. different from what I expected it to look like. I thought that the line, the colors are solid. I'm seeing it now that I'm looking at it that the colors are not, there's no black. So it's literally just going from color to color. I'm gonna see if I can find a mode that changes uh, where there's a little black in between so I don't have to turn it on and off. So my light doesn't seem to have a multi-color strobe mode. Um, so I'm just gonna go with one of the solid colors, just go with this yellow. I thought this was a really pretty yellow. And uh, I'll go with this and simply turn it on and off with the little thumb button there. When you're turning it on and off manually like this, there almost is like a, it doesn't go straight yellow. So you'll see it in the image, there's like a little bit of pink before the yellow when you're doing it manually on and off like this. So I'm gonna try another color and see if it does the same thing. Let's just go with white, and uh, it looks like there's no colors before the white, so I'm gonna try that, and we'll see what happens. Um, I did a couple orbs where I'm turning the light on and off manually, just using the uh, on and off button, but whatever color I picked, there seemed like a little bit of color prior to the actual color. So with uh, white, there's a little bit of pink or purple right before or after the light when it turns on or off. And then same thing with the other colors, it seemed to be like a pinkish or purple right as I was turning the light on or off. It looks nice, I mean, it's cool, but if that's not the effect you're going for, then if you're just, if you're really after a solid color, you might have a little issue with that. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna try to make one of my ghosts with the light whip. Um, however, it's going to be changing color slowly. I think this is going to come out really cool. So here we go on that one. Cool. Looking good. So that's it for tonight guys. I'm going to sign off on the vlog now. My favorite images that I created tonight were the ones where I used the two different plexiglass, um, putting the circle plexi right up on the lens, pulling it away to create that kind of tunnel zoom effect, and then using the rectangle plexiglass to create that kind of a, almost like an orb, but it looked like I was in it, so it had this like sci-fi feel to it for me. I did some other basic stuff just to see what this light could do with like the sword, and I created one of my ghost figures using the light whip and just kind of playing around, seeing what the light could do. I really like the light, it's great. If you're interested in one, check out Frank at Photo Excursion. I'll put the link down below or uh, right here on the screen. My only gripe with this thing is just that little bit of that weird color that comes on between the other solid colors when you're using the momentary on-off switch on it. But everything else about this light is amazing. The brightness is absolutely amazing, at least twice as bright as anything else out there on the market that has a color changing option. It is just a really bright and awesome light. So definitely check Frank out if you guys are interested in a light like this. It fits all the light painting brushes using the universal connector. And that's it. I'm going to stay out here and experiment a little bit more with this light and just kind of play around, see what else I can create. But for the vlog, that is it. Y'all have a good night.